let's do this, Chancellor. It's Stay at Home Gaming, and I don't know what we're doing. I'm guessing we're about to escape from Talonburg. I think that's what's next. We need to go very Ma and Pa. It's a robot. Talk to me, you prick. God be with you. So, Robard, I need to get to Scalitz. What would you do there, lad? Sigismund might have left, but the place will be swamped with robber barons, brigands, deserters, and other vermin. And anyway, your lord commanded you to stay here. My parents died there. I'm a free man, and I don't need to ask anyone's leave for doing what's right. Tell your people to let me out, or I won't be responsible for the consequences. Be glad I'm in a good mood, and won't have it spoiled by some greenhorn. Next time you take that tone with me, it'll be straight in a jail cell with you. Dun, dun, dun. Why did Sigismund burn down Scalitz and then come here, too? That's war for you, lad. Certain lords have resolved to take things into their own hands and eliminate anyone who doesn't share their view. Unfortunately, Sir Radzig is one of those. And what's more, he was sitting on a pile of silver that could help King Wenceslas's allies. What happened in Gutenberg? Gutenberg? Well, I'm just a simple soldier. But the good lord gave me ears, and I've heard some things from Sir Divish and from those who fled from Sigismund's pillaging. Were there many? Indeed. But it was the Gutenberg mercenaries who came to see me because I knew them from before. I see. Listen, lad. These are all games of the high aristocracy. In Prague, a cabal of nobles rebelled against King Wenceslas, wealthy aristocrats who took against our king for reasons of their own. There's no doubt Sigismund had his fingers in the whole affair, him and Wenceslas's cousin, Jobst. And that cabal helped him abduct the king. So then why did Sigismund attack Kuttenberg? Why do you think? Because the lords there could have risen against him with their armies and stopped his conquest of the Bohemian territories? That's part of it. King Charles, may God grant him eternal glory, built Prague into a proper royal city, while King Wenceslas took a liking to Kutenberg. After Prague, it's the most important city in Bohemia, in the entire Holy Roman Empire. He who commands the Kutenberg silver is king. So Kutenberg sided with Wenceslas because he favoured it? Now you're starting to understand. When Sigismund imprisoned Wenceslas and took control of Prague, the people of Kutenberg began to raise an army against him. So with the attack on Kutenberg, Sigismund killed two birds with one stone. He defeated Wenceslas's most powerful allies before they could stand against him and also gained immense wealth. Like a douche. Where did these humans come from anyway? I don't know much about them, only what the Chamberlain said. That they came to Hungary from the east and settled there. They're godless barbarians and merciless fighters. The nobles used to say the Hungarian king shouldn't enlist them, because they dishonor our rules of warfare. But when there's power and money to be had, it seems that honor isn't worth my spit. And believe me, it's always about power and money. No help at all. Take a bite to eat. Are you serious? Did I tell you about that tree stuff behind my house? The stump of that elm you chopped down. <laughs> All right, so we need to get the fuck out of here. But all these guys are not going to 
let us. Do 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 do. Nothing. I'm just being normal. What are you doing? Do 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 do. do. Definitely jumped out of the wrong side of the castle. Shite. And now I'm stuck on a bush. Shit, shit, he spotted me. <laughs> fuck, fuck. Damn it. Shit. Got you. Jesus, you gave me the run around. Let me go for Christ's sake. I have to bury my parents. You're going nowhere, except back inside. If I don't bury them now, they'll be ripped to pieces by jackdaws and scattered over unhallowed ground, and I'm stuck here, a stone's throw away. All right, shove me, I'll pretend you caught me off guard, and I fell over. I'll deal with the others. You just get out of here on the double. Kurva! Over there. Over there. Thanks, dude. I'll remember you probably later. Maybe. I won't. I cannot run for shit. Jabroni. I think we got. Oh, damn it. I was hoping we got far enough away. Hello, don't mind me. Just some weirdo running through your camp. Such is life. It's like they've already gone. Such useless killing.
time to go home, Henry. Alright, thanks for hanging out, guys. That was how we escaped Talenburg. Uh, find us on all your social media sites. Come say hi on Twitter. Become a supporter on Patreon to help the channel out. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. See ya.